Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, this is the Rock Bridge Project. This is a chunk of acreage that we own that we have slowly been putting a new road in with our old Ford 555 backhoe, and we're in the process of building this creek crossing out of material we have on, on hand. The rocks are rocks that we drug up from the bottom of the ditch, and the stonework you see, that's Indiana limestone that we salvaged off of a church project for free not too long ago. We have videos about that too if you want to check it out. Today we're going to start the process of backfilling each side of this thing so we can actually start driving across it and work on other sections of the road in the near future. Now let's see if we can get this old backhoe fired up and let's get to work. So since I've got a backhoe, not a dozer, I don't have a six-way blade, I don't have a way to adjust the angle left to right with the actual loader itself. I can come up and down and smooth it out a little bit. But left to right is kind of a challenge. So I'm coming up on the high side and just digging down a little bit deeper with the hoe. One, it's going to loosen things up for me since I only have a smooth face. Hopefully I get a tooth bucket one day or a tooth bar to put on this bucket. Loosen it up a little bit and then get that high side just a little bit lower so whenever I start pushing off, I kind of have the grade left to right that I'm looking for. We're also trying to take a bunch of these trees and move them uphill out of the way so I can work this hill without getting snagged on anything. I was thinking to myself, that just seems like an excessive amount of smoke. It is. It is an excessive amount of smoke. Looks like we've got I do believe it's hydraulic oil. Um, the only thing that could be up there. Go ahead and snag the socket from one project to use on the other. The gloves? No, don't worry about the gloves. Oh, why? Well, that's just breaking. We're just breaking that. You haven't been on there that long to be acting like this. Okay, I don't... We're just breaking it. That's what we're doing. We're just breaking it. When in doubt, break it out. That's what I always say. Perfect. Good. That's where I wanted those anyway. Thank <laughs> you. 
That went really smooth. That was good plan in there. Well, here's where it's leaking. It's this piece of rubber right here. But all this is intake is a vent for the hydraulic tank, which is under here. But I just checked. She's slightly overfilled. So I think whenever I get to extreme pressure, there's a bunch coming into the tank. I think it's burping a little bit out of there. Uh, not ideal, though. We don't want a whole bunch of oil in there. The good news is I got cylinders that seep like crazy. So another couple hours and we'll be low. This fella in particular, in fact, I can hear it and feel it when I'm digging. This one bypasses itself. It not only does it seep here, but it also bypasses itself. I'm losing a lot of power there. That's going to be a project coming up soon for sure. See if I got any hose up there at the barn. I'll take care of that for us. I got a new hose on it. Exhaust is up there. Don't have a clamp. I also don't have a floor, so we're not too concerned about those kind of luxuries. Except for the fact that hydraulic fluid is working its way up the breather tube. Everything is fine. microphone which I have no complaints because that thing has been fantastic it finally bit the dust actually it's it's bit the dust probably over a hundred times you guys see the camera fall over all the time that's with the receiver on the side of you the things lasted that long I've got no complaints but I am without it so a little shouting today we're gonna take the bucket give her the old smear job 2000 I don't think I can say that and Definitely some satisfaction in that. She's going to settle quite a bit, and that's fine. Because eventually we'll put a road base on it. We got to go do some rock hunting up on the hill, because we're going to fill this side in with a whole bunch of big boulders. I really struggled with the word boulders there. And a whole bunch of free, bad sacrete that the buddy was getting rid of.
finally got a good rain last night. Man, I wish I had another hour or two to get a couple more buckets of stone over there. We're pretty slippery and slimy as she is sitting here now. She has flown a little bit, nothing impressive, but I'll show you. There's one last thing I want to do on this side before we try to drive across, and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty nervous about it with the conditions. That's got R4 tires. It's only two-wheel drive. I don't know if the bridge is actually going to hold. I don't know if I'm going to sink into a hole there. There's a whole lot of questionable ifs, but I got to get this backhoe out of here today so we can do some other work while this stuff dries up. Oh, goodness. We'll show you the stream right now. It's nothing impressive. It's been so dry lately, it's going to take a lot of water to get a heavy flow under this thing. But she's trickling. A few people are worried about everything washing out underneath the bridge. Remember, it's sitting on a solid rock base. We should be okay there. Also, the microphone started working again. I'm telling you, this DJI stuff, this is the same camera that I bought and reviewed probably close to a year ago. Every time you see the camera fall, it's got the wireless receiver on the side of it and of course the camera itself. This thing has been incredible. To have one action camera to survive everything I throw at it, blown away. Not a partnership, not a sponsorship. We are far too small of a channel for DJI to even know we exist, but I am definitely impressed with their equipment. Got all those bags spread in there, kind of worked in the cracks a little bit. As that takes moisture from the ground and rain or whatever, that'll set up and the goal is just to kind of interlock all those rocks together so it's a decent solid footing. My concern on this side, because we'll have stuff coming down the hill, is if we had a big soft spot on the back side of that bridge, cars, trucks, backhoes would come down and it's soft and they would push and then end up pushing the bridge. Not as concerned on this side, because it's a pretty straight level shot once you get onto it. But was definitely a concern for this side. So hopefully that helps alleviate that. I do wish I had at least one more, two more buckets of rock. But we are where we are at this point. There's no way I could get down that clay hill and back up with a couple loads without spinning. It's just gonna be too slick. I wanna try to back up this hill. That way if I need to, I've got the hoe uphill and I can kinda pull myself up. I do wanna take my little hammer drill and see if I can't chop the top part of this off though. We got my feathers and wedges. Yeah, I thought that was the wrong size bit. That's fine, I got another one here. I have to take a few rounds at it.
let's go ahead and get the back hose spun around and try to get the heaviest part of it the back tires on the right side of the bridge operation and then we'll try to get this hill figured out we're just we're gonna have to go step by step on this operation oh gonna need the jump pack i'm a thousand percent excited also absolutely terrified surely this thing will hold the back of me we're gonna find out right quick got the jump pack on her Get her a little bit of that This is gonna be fun. Ah, oh, neat. thought that loosely packed clay wouldn't let me get up on there. I'm as surprised as you are. I got this lifter puller thing on the back. We'll, we'll try her out. get a picture real quick for the thumbnail. that the neatest now you gotta use some imagination and install some rock base so that we can just drive and not sink in the mud every time 
But boy howdy, that's pretty cool. Who says boy howdy? Well, I can tell you one thing without a doubt. She's definitely stout enough because that was a pretty rough crossing and it took that fine. Had to paddle all the way up the hill. Just couldn't get any traction with those old R4s. I would say based on the condition of the soil, we probably won't be out here on this road much. Maybe if we get a good freezer, it dries up just enough to come out with the tractor to burn some brush or that kind of thing. But I'm pretty happy with the amount of progress we made. We wanted to get a road blazed out through the woods. We have definitely got that established. Got the path established, no worries there. And wanted to build a one-of-a-kind creek crossing with material we had laying around. Not too bad. Total cost of this thing, 400 bucks, including the mortar, the sacrete. The rebar was all left over from the YouTube yacht floor pour. And fuel on the tractor, 400 bucks. An 18-inch, 20-foot culvert where I'm at is right about 400 bucks. This would have taken either 224s or 136 with the amount of water that comes through. So we probably would have been closer to 800 to $1,000 by the time it was all said and done. Cheaper than a culvert. Way cooler. I might be celebrating too early yet, though. We still got to get down that and up that hill, too. Echoes back up here. We're behind the barn right now. 
and the dump truck is sitting right there. That's because in the next video, since the weather's kind of turning nasty on us, we're not gonna be able to use that two-wheel drive backhoe in the woods without tearing something up or myself, which is a pretty big priority, believe it or not. We're gonna work up here where we can in the gravel section next to the shop, taking this old dump truck that we drove up to Gary, Indiana to get for free, and this pretty relatively clean cab and super clean, super duty frame, and piecing us a rig together. I'm pretty excited about that. As far as the bridge and the road project goes, the weather only lets us do what the weather lets us do. The next 10 day forecast has all the nights well below the 30s, so we're not gonna be doing any mortar work or anything like that. And I don't feel like mixing or messing with plastic tents and all that stuff to just get it done. We can wait till we get a good warm spell and we'll go from there. I'm pretty happy with the progress. We've pretty much accomplished our goal where I wanna be on that. And if the weather lets us, we'll keep pushing through. And if the weather doesn't, we got plenty to do. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. That was slick, a rhyme, nice. All right, well, maybe we'll be that clever next time. I hope I get to see you on the next one.